I wouldn't consider myself a professional musician but it's fun just to be able to pick up the guitar from time to time and play a little bit and really that's the whole idea behind these paint by number videos uh, really it's just to get you comfortable painting if you've never painted before it can be a little intimidating even just to go to the art store and so in these videos the idea is just to get you comfortable mixing paint uh, understanding where the light source is and how color creates space so um, it, you're really meant to just have fun if you make a painting that you like well that would be great and if you don't just try again so let's go ahead and get started okay well if you want to paint along with me go to my website and search paint by numbers episode 2 you'll find the image there you can print it out and then cut it out and stick it to a piece of quarter inch plywood or masonite and if you don't have that you could also use cardboard I'm using wood glue to stick the image to the board and then I'll use a business card to spread the glue out into a nice even thin coat. Numbers two, three, and four are all shades of green. So, I mean there's really no rules to this but I'm going to go ahead and start with the lightest green first. And so that's number two. And I'll just put that color down and work from there. I started with a little green and white and I'll add just a little bit of burnt umber to knock that color down a little bit. Now I'll move on to number three and since three is a little bit darker than two, I'll add a little black to it. And four is a little bit darker than three, so I'll add a little more black, just a little bit, and maybe, oh, let me bring that over there, and maybe a little more burnt umber. Now I'm ready to move on to the flowers. Uh, this is a butterfly bush, so these are a very soft purple or violet, and for that color I'm going to mix violet and white. The background is kind of a charcoal gray color. It has a little bit of blue to it. So I'm going to add a little cerulean blue to black and a little white. So now I'm ready to move on to the vase and this side of the vase here is a tan color and then this is just a little bit lighter. To mix up this tan color I'll use a little white, a little burnt umber and a little yellow. And I want to gray the color a little bit so I'll add some black. So this is still looking a little dark so I'll just take a little bit of it put it over here and then take more white and add the white and that looks better and 
And now for this side, I'll take a little bit of the color that I just mixed, add more white, which will make it lighter, and paint this side in. The ground here, number six, is an orange color, so I'll add a little, or I'll mix a little red and yellow. And I'll knock this color down a little with some burnt umber. Oops, I picked up some green there on accident. That's all right. Okay, well, I had a lot of fun painting this, and uh, I just in, enjoy the whole process. I like designing the paint-by-number paintings, and then it's fun to paint them because you, you really don't have to think that much. You just sort of paint, and you're creating space, and it, it's just happening with color. So when we were doing the green, uh, basically the leaves are all the same color green. It's just that some are getting more light than others. So that's something to think about. Now, you, you also probably noticed that I didn't do a great job on staying in the lines, and that's because... I really don't care. I'm not looking for a perfect painting. In fact, I really don't like perfect paintings, at least not like this. There's some things that I do that I want to be very precise, but uh, not so much this. This isn't really about the butterfly bush or the vase. It's really just about the painting. It's about color. And, uh, and I think when you get real sharp, sometimes you lose that. So um, uh, one other thing, I always like to talk a little bit about art history uh, in these videos because uh, that's really helped me as a painter, and I think the best way to get good at painting is to look at a lot of paintings. So uh, this painting, the palette, the color, was inspired by the artist Richard Diebenkorn. Uh, and I'll try to find the painting that I was thinking of when I designed this, and I'll put it on the blog post. So if you search um, painting uh, class number two, or not class, painting episode number two, paint by numbers episode two, you'll find that picture or that painting by Richard Diebenkorn. And if you dig a little deeper, you'll see that Richard Diebenkorn was inspired by the artist Henry Matisse. And so that's how art is. Everybody's sort of standing on the shoulders of the artist that came before them uh, because art is a continuum. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.